Hello and welcome to Mamotreko. Today I'm going to talk about Kodak Gold 200. So I shot this roll of Kodak Gold 200 with my trusty 80s compact camera, this Ricoh TF900, which is essentially fully automatic in terms of autofocus and auto exposure. And really the only option I have is to increase exposure uh, by two. And that's it. Having also recently shot rolls of Kodak Ultramax 400, as well as Portra 160, I find that Kodak Gold 200 kind of sits in between those two. On the one side, you have Ultramax 400, which is extremely vibrant, very contrasty, very punchy, I would say. And then on the other side, you have Portra 160, which is subtle. It, in comparison, but I mean, by comparison, it's almost slightly desaturated. Colors are true to life. Gold 200, the shots that I took were very even in terms of how they looked. I think maybe the camera did better in terms of exposure with those shots, maybe. They're all quite warm. While there is definitely, some, you know, those classic Kodak colors, it's not as strong as Ultra, Ultramax 400. But at the same time, there's a little bit more color than Portra 160. I also find that the transitions and the roll off from shadows to midtones to highlights in Gold 200 is very smooth and pleasing. And it's probably the closest to what I expect from film. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed the photos and discussion about Kodak Gold 200. I hope that you're having a hot film summer. And until next time, take care. And hopefully I'll be able to share some examples taken with a professional film camera this time, which I borrowed from a friend.